In today's video, you will see three ways to keep your headscarf in place. If you wear your headscarf for hours and you don't want to adjust them every 10 minutes, stay until the end and I will show you the best and the worst fabric for this. By the way, if you don't know me yet, my name is Elena. Welcome to my channel, How to Tie a Scarf. I'm going to use this lovely vintage scarf and it is very, very slippery. From my experience, this style has to be adjusted all the time. As you can see, it falls down easily. Let's see what we can do about it. First, you can use an under hat like this. What I love about it, that I can hide all here easily. You see? Let's tie the scarf. Now it feels more secure. I wore this style without any adjustment for about three hours. And finally it just fell down together with the underhead. It can be different for you and it really depends on your hair, head shape and the style you choose to wear with your scarf. Personally, I use this under hat with other scarf and styles and never with a scarf like this. Also, you can use a velvet headband. Honestly, I love it because I can easily adjust its size, so it is tight yet still comfortable. The secret is to choose the right side of the velvet. Here you can feel the direction of the pile. It should sweep toward your face and opposite to your scarf. Let's tie the headscarf. Incidentally, I have a lot of videos about different styles of headscarves and I will link them at the end and in the description. It is not easy to pull down. I can feel the resistance of velvet. Great job! You can see a line of the headband here, but I'm okay with this. And the last but not least way is to use bobby pins. And there is a secret how to really secure your headscarf. You just cross your pins like this. Two pairs on the sides and two pairs on the neck. I'd like to thank my dear friends who gave me this beautiful vintage scarf. Also, I'd like to thank a viewer for the idea of this video. I cannot move the scarf. The minus is the bobby pins are quite visible. But I wore this scarf for a day without any adjustment. By the way, if you know a better way to prevent your headscarf from slipping, please let me know in the comments. Now, let's talk about the best and the worst fabrics for headscarves. First and the best are cotton scarves. They rarely need any adjustment at all. Wool scarves are pretty good as well, but for some heavy construction, I like to use an under hat. Now let's talk about polyesters. The most difficult headscarf to wear is a satin polyester. 
The only way to keep these scarves in place all day is bobby pins. But not all polyester create equals. The polyester that are not shiny is much easier to wear. And this kind of polyester scarf you can wear basically like a cotton scarf. No problem at all. Now let's talk about silks. Satin silk will be just a little bit better than polyester satin and still fall down easily. Don't take me wrong, I love silk and I wear it all the time. But here I'm talking about the headscarf that have to be worn for many hours. Silk twill is still shiny, but it is much better than satin. And still, if I need to keep it on place all day long, I would wear a velvet headband or bobby pins. Can you see the difference between satin and twill? If you absolutely love silk, I would recommend crepe de chine silk. Just like this. It is not slippery and almost as good as cotton. See the difference? If you like scarves, check these videos for more headscarf ideas. Subscribe, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section below what kind of video tutorial you would like to see. I hope to see you next time. Bye!